Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from fx.co portal. Here we go. Today is the 3rd of November and we're starting from euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak. In the first half of the day, traders will keep an eye on the Eurozone unemployment report, but in my opinion, these figures will have little impact on the market. Most likely, the buyers will try to extend the upward movement ahead of the crucial US labor market, but it will be limited. Today, you can buy the euro when the price reached around 1.0641 and take profit around 1.0677. We recommend exiting the market at this mark and selling the euro in the opposite direction, targeting a 30-35 point move from the entry point. Euro growth can be expected in continuation of the previous uptrend. However, the main movement will like occur in the second half of the day. Before buying, make sure that the MACD line is above zero or just starting to rise from it. Euro can also be bought at two consecutive price tests of the price at 1.0624, while the MACD indicator is in an oversold zone. This will limit the downward potential of the pair and lead to a market reversal to the upside. Expect an increase to the opposite levels of 1.0641 and 1.0677. You can sell the euro after it reached the level of 1.0624. The target will be 1.0585, where we recommend exiting the market and buying the euro immediately in the opposite direction aiming for a 20-25 point move in the opposite direction from this level. Pressure on the pair will increase in case the pair fails to break above the daily high. Before selling, make sure that the MACD line is below zero, or it just starting to move down from it. Euro could also be sold after the two consecutive price tests of 1.0641, while the MACD indicator is in the overbought area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.0624 and 1.0585. The next stage of our review is the next major, it's GBP USD presented by Sebastian Seliga. The GBP USD pair has been developing the bearish pin and price button on H4 timeframe chart, which might result in a breakout to the downside soon. The intraday technical resistance is located at 1.2222 and the intraday technical support is seen at the price of 1.2094. The momentum on the H4 timeframe chart is back above the level of 50, so bulls are temporary in control of the market. Please notice that the mid-term outlook remains bearish due to the bearish cross of 50 and 200 DMA on the daily timeframe chart. Gold, sweet gold. We've got a trading plan for this commodity asset presented by Demetrius Tsapas. Early in the European session, gold is trading around 1986. Below 88 Muri level, 2000 USD, and above the 21 SMA, its blue line and graphic, and above the 78 Muri level, 1968. According to the daily chart, we can see that gold broke the uptrend channel form since October 3rd. 
and is now showing signs of exhaustion. If gold fails to overcome the psychological level of 2000 USD and consolidates below 1995 in the coming days, we could expect a strong technical correction towards the 21 SMA, located at 1961. The instrument could even reach the 200 EMA, located at 1920. In case gold continues to rise and reach the 88 mirror level, 2000 USD in the next few hours, and if it fails to overcome this level, it could be seen as an opportunity to sell with the target at 1961. Additionally, if gold falls below 1980, we could see a bearish acceleration and the price could reach 1968 and 1961. Around this area, a symmetrical triangle has formed and the breakout of this triangle could define the trend for the next few days. Looking at the daily chart, if gold consolidates below 21 SMA in the next few days, this could mean a change in the trend and the outlook for gold could be negative. Thus, the instrument could reach the 1937 level. 68 Murray and 1906. 58 Murray and even reached the psychological level of 1900. On the other hand, if gold surpasses its high of 2009 USD and consolidates above the psychological level of 2000 USD, we could expect it to continue rising and the metal could reach plus 1.8 mil relocated at 2031. The eagle indicator reached the extreme overboard zone on the daily chart. Therefore, we expect a strong technical correction towards the 21 SMA. 1961 Or towards the 200 EMA in the coming days, 1920. And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with USD JPY pair focused. Let's have a look. Amid the broad weakness of the US dollar, the index is down by 0.68%. The greenback lost 43 pips against the yen on Thursday, reaching the target support level of 150.00. The signal line of the Marlin Oscillator is approaching the border of the bearish territory. The situation will be resolved when the US employment data is released. The focus for non-farm payrolls stands at 188,000 compared to 3,036 in September. We believe that the September figure will be revised downwards and the October index will turn out worse than expected, as the structural parameters do not show any improvement. Overall, unemployment levels might even rise, officially standing at 3.8% in September. If the price stays below 150.00, it opens the way for the further decline to 148.18. In this case, the MACD line 149.00 serve as an intermediate support. On the 4-hour chart, the price has climbed above the MACD line, its blue line on graphic, and is now consolidating above it. The modern oscillator is moving sideways in the bearish territory. 
The price is showing signs that the market is bracing for important fundamental news. That's all for today. See you online soon and good luck.